from South Africa. Say hello to our Vlad. Hello, hello. 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 They are so kind, guys. So, yes, samahan nyo kami, magtutur kami. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, guys. Elephant tayo, di ba? Mm, Elephant okay. rock. Uh, Doon kami pumunta. So, nandito kami ngayon sa Winter Park. We're waiting for the bus. Kasi 5.30 yung alis namin. 5.30 alis na yung bus. At exactly 5.30. Ang pa kami. Super init na yun. Ikutin mo sis. Tulad ng sabi namin sa una, na kailangan nakabook kayo. Kasi kung wala kayong booking, baka hindi na naman kayong makapasok. Yes. Pag walang booking talaga, kahit ipilit nyo sa kanila na gusto nyo magbayad whatsoever, hindi nila tatanggapin. Kasi kailangan talaga online. And then kahit na nandun ka na, online ka na, uh, doon ka na magbubook mismo sa kanila in front of them, hindi pa rin nila tatanggapin and accepted pa rin yun. So guys, if you really like planning to come here, kailangan mag-book na kayo online. See you guys! Abangan nyo na lang! Ito, pasakay na po kami ngayon kapunta doon sa Hijra. about the civilizations that pass through time in this location. This is a herd of camel that is going to the north side of Al Hijr or Hegra. First of all, during our tour today, we're gonna see a lot of camels, a lot of drawing camels, for a lot of reasons. The first reason is that the the like the symbol of uh, the Arab people are two things: the date palm tree and the camel. So this is just a symbol for Arab people. So what is the most prized possession for Arabs thousands of years ago is the camel. Okay. And we're gonna see that during our tour today. And over here, they want to tell a story. And they don't have papers or pens at that time. So what they do, they carve their stories into the mountain. And this is a story of a caravan, a trade caravan or a traveling caravan that passed through Al-Ula going outside of the Arabian Peninsula. And Al-Ula, thousands of years ago, it's uh, still till this day, it's an oasis. And back then, it was a stop point for most of travelers and trade caravans that pass through the Arabian Peninsula. So they have to stop here uh, so they can get supplies like food and water, and then they continue their journey to their destination. 
years from now. These drawings, or these, uh, excuse me, inscriptions is written in Lahyanite language. And Lahyanite is for the Dedanics and Lahyanid people. Uh, but in here, they just said that this lady uh, came here, she gave the god to Ghayba, which is uh, the god, the unseen, the god for the the, the Dedanics and Lahyanite. And she came here to give him an offering for in order to him to give her blessings and forgiveness to her and her two brothers. <laughs> Aka pictures. So ayo na mo na sila. Hindi na pala namin kailang ikwento kung anong mayroon dito. Kasi may nagkukwento na pala ng buong story. <laughs> Magkamali pa kami, makorikan pa kami. <laughs> they believe that they were too tall or too huge. So that's why they draw so high over there. A lot of people believe that, actually. but the truth is that they are the same size as us. But there is two reasons that maybe they draw all the way over there on the oh, top. Yeah. First reason is that maybe thousands of years ago, Earth was, was not in the same shape as it is now. Yeah. Or maybe the ground was not in this level. Maybe there was a sand dune that was covering this side of this mountain because of erosions like water floods, uh, earthquakes, heavy wind. The sand dune just moved from this side of the mountain to this side over here. You see that? This stuff over here is interesting because it's telling us a lot. First of all, for the majority of Muslims, they know stories that is telling about this place that we are in it now, which is al Hijr. that more than 6,000 years ago, there was a prophet that God sent, it, sent him here to his people. The people called Qawm Tamur, or the people of Tamur. They are one tribe, one family. God sent them a prophet called the Prophet Saad. The people of Tamud, they were very strong. They were the same size as us, but they were very strong. They can carve the mountain with their bare hands. They can break the quartz stone with only two fingers. This is how strong they are. This is for meditation, for peace, for calm. And here, all the meditations come to this place to pray for the God, or excuse me, the Shara. The Lord is for the academics and the Shara is for the Nebuchadnezzar. The Shara is represented as an eagle. In Jordan, they have a mountain called Jabal al-Shara, right? Yes. In Beta, in Jordan. And Jabal al-Shara is named after the Nebuchadnezzar God, the Shara. And the Shara is represented as an eagle the image of an eagle. And by the way, this niche over here, a niche is a place to worship the God. And this niche over here is one of two places in Hegra that still got the neck and the head not broken. The head is eroded, but not broken. Mm -hmm. you, can still, you can still see the neck very uh, clear. They come to this place to uh, present offerings for the god, the Shara, and pray for it here. And this place is so special because uh, for the people who went to Jabal Ikhma, it's the same. It's quiet and <laughs> far from the city. Good luck to shoot the head. No, this is actually bad luck. <laughs> Nowadays, it's very, very bad luck. <laughs> if you shoot the head, you, will be, you will be cursed. <laughs> by a million dollars, I think five, and I think 20 years of uh, jail. Mahirap pa ke sa halis sa usapan nila. Baka mamaya magdugo ng ilong namin. Hindi na kami nakisali kasi na nagsistart na magdugo yung ilong namin. Kaya nga yun. Lumayo muna kami ng konti. Malayo na kami sa kanila. 
Hi, Papa Biox. Hi. What, what can you say about it? My big brother in the What can you say about our tour? The whole tour? When I go to I'm not amazed It's amazing? <laughs> You're bleeding? Amazing. <laughs> See? Kami mama nagsagi ng mga pala. Alam lang namin akit ng mga bundok. Dahil nang daming bundok sa amin. Nakit na namin. At least ito may mga historical. <laughs> Pauwi na po kami at inabutan kami ng gabi. Which is bawal talaga maabutan ng gabi. Kaya kailangan umuwi ng gabi ng oras. 7.30 so, na yun. Sobrang nag-enjoy kami. Pagod, worth it. So, ayun guys. Ang lagi po namin paalala ni Kate, laging tandaan, ang pakikipagpapatao ay mahalaga. mahalaga. Ayun yung mga kasama namin, oh. iniiwan na kami. <laughs> kami yung naiiwan. <laughs> Hindi kami nagpapaiwan talaga. Picture, picture, video. <laughs> lagi nila kami naiiwan. Lagi kami sila. naiiwan. Tapos yung tour guide namin, nantay nila kami. <laughs> kami lagi nila magsalita. <laughs> Ayan, pagod na pagod kami, hindi halata, sobrang waste na talaga kami, haggardness, overload. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs>